in life, there's a few things that are just kind of uh, big, big decisions. Um, one of them is getting married. You know, um, career is kind of a kind of a big decision. Not not a huge decision. I mean, um, sometimes people make things bigger than they really are. Um, buying a house. I mean, it's not once again not a huge decision, but it is still uh, a big decision. And so, should I buy a house? One thing is be careful about making rash decisions um, and also be careful about making decisions when you're too stressed I, I don't know how else to say that but like let's say for instance I'm gonna buy a house oh it's my first house and you just kind of work it up in your in your mind you're like, ah! well you know once again just kind of maybe wait and process the decision and think about it and kind of calm down and, and think about it rationally before you make a decision but there's a few things <coughs> there's a few things with buying a house uh, that are worth uh, looking at. The first, oh, whoops. Um, the first is uh, the house mortgages are, are it's a long debt. You've got 15, 15 or 30 year debt, depending um, which one you go for. Um, and there's just a lot of interest that's paid in that time. A lot of things can happen in 15 or 30 years. I mean, just a lot of, a lot of things. Just so many things can happen in that amount of time. Um, you know, once again, w w with the amount of uh, interest you pay on the loan, it's just like, oof. how much is the house worth? Is the area in a state of incline or decline? Will you be able to resell the house? You know, all kinds of different things. Um, marketability. I mean, just location there's just thing after thing after thing and before you make a rash decision it's kind of important to think about these things um oh we don't care if we if we want to resell it okay that's fine but i mean what happens if you ever change careers or, or you move or are you gonna be stuck with the house till death do you part <laughs> or or <coughs> do you have an escape plan um you don't want the house from hell <coughs> excuse me you don't want the house from hell what if you, what if you lose your job? You know, uh, will you be able to? Uh, are there enough jobs in the area that you will be able to save up money, and or do you already have money saved up? Hopefully, um, besides the down payment, that if you lose a job, you can still pay on the house for six months. These are things worth thinking about. Um, obviously, if you've already taken out a mortgage, there's not not much you can do there. I mean, you already have the house, and you can you can try to resell it, or you know, different things like that. But you. you this is hopefully a preventative measure. Um, will you likely move? For instance, if you're in the military, you will likely move. <laughs> um, what if your partner leaves, either through divorce or if you aren't married yet, they just decide to move on, or you know, your your just your life suddenly goes in different directions. Life is always changing, um, and you really don't want to get involved with a mortgage with someone who isn't in it for the long haul. Um, you, you definitely want to want to make this kind of a commitment with somebody who's going to be around. Um, and I'm not trying to sound like morbid or anything, but I mean these are things worth worth thinking about. Um, uh, why do you want to buy a house? What, what's your what's your reasoning there? Uh, make a list of pros and cons: buying a house versus not buying a house. What's better? You know, where's um, where's the better idea? Also, and I'll come back to that second to last point, but I want to hop down to the end there. Be aware of the problems associated with buying a house. When you buy a house, um, first off, the list of things wrong with the house might not be – there might be some things not known, bad plumbing or maybe electrical wiring that's messed up. Who knows? Um, and, and not necessarily that the seller knew about it, but you know, it was just an issue with the house. Um, is there going to be a sink in a sinkhole that opens up, you know, uh, mess up the foundation? That's it happens. I mean, it definitely does happen. Um, if you get a flood, you know, is is that going to be is that going to be a problem? You know, uh, do you have flood insurance? How much is the flood insurance going to cost? Um, what needs to be fixed at the house? What things um, were things done correctly? Any updates or, or, or remodels or anything were they done correctly? Because it it is going to be your problem if you buy the house. Um, and, and that brings me to my second last 
point there. You can't live life guarded. You, you just can't. Um, it's impossible to live life being guarded all the time. I get that. But you also can't live foolish. You, you have to really think things through because, once again, like I said, you buy a crappy house, you're stuck with a crappy house. Um, it, it, here's the thing. Don't get overly concerned when you see somebody who's 50 or 60 that has the life that you want. That's not where you are in your journey. This is where you are in your journey. And it's not like a competition. You do what you got when you can. And, you know, you just kind of take it like that. You, you don't stress yourself out about little things like buying a house. I mean, there's plenty of stress in life already. Um, and, you know, any number of things can happen to destroy your house. Uh, California uh, fires, for instance, where a lot of, you know, really uh, rich people whose their house is just completely burned or gone, you know, that's just gone like that. And that's the kind of stuff that can happen when you own a house, you know, it just, it can be taken from you in, in a very quick minst, uh, instant uh, through hurricanes or, or earthquakes or, you know, uh, depending on where you are, vol volcano eruptions, uh, wildfires, I mean, there's so many different things. Um, and that's something that, that's always a factor. Um, so, you know, think about these things before you buy a house, especially those those first bits there. Um, what will happen if you lose your job? And what is that person going to be there for forever? Not past your emotions. Oh, I feel like they're going to be there for forever. But really, are they going to be there for forever? Are, are they a quitter? Is this... Uh, a lot can happen in 15 to 30 years. A lot can happen. Um, th th those two things really take into account. So...